You're a salmon girl, right? Okay. Okay. Welcome to your entertainment ticket, yeticket.com. And we got Al McGee. Yeah, baby. And John Delia. And we're here to tell you about a movie, very sort of sad movie. Really nice, though. I thought it was very well done. It's by Peter Jackson. Who thought he could do anything but like Lord of the this, Rings? Right. right. <laughs> and, uh, and here he put out a movie called The Lovely Bones. And you'll get to know what that means later on deep, deep into the movie. But, you know, it's about this girl who, uh, actually, it's about a guy who abducts girls. And one of the girls he abducts is a, a uh, serial killer. That's what yeah, he is. serial killer. And it's uh, Susie Salmon. And uh, her, she's played by uh, Sarase. Ronan, is that how you pronounce that? Yeah, that's how yeah. I would do it. Yeah, and Mark Wahlberg's in this film. Rachel Wise plays the mother. Stanley Tucci, you all oh, recognize man. him in this movie. Oh yeah. George I Harvey think he's plays the nominated movie. for a Golden Globe for this. Too. Is that right? Yeah. He ought to be. Whoa! I tell you, I learned to hate him real fast. <laughs> yeah, and uh, that means he's a great actor. That means he's a great part. Yeah. Uh, tell, tell us a little bit yeah. of, of what you think of the movie. Well, what I think of the movie The Lovely Bones is this. this again, this is based on the movie by uh, Alice Siebel, and it's a very popular movie. Now, I never read the book, and I'm glad I didn't because uh, I probably wouldn't have been that surprised. Right. But this movie was suspenseful, and also it kept you sitting on the edge of your seat about what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. You kept looking to see what's going to happen next, mm -hmm. uh, and you got surprised about all of it. And, and here, Stanley Tucci played one of the most thrilling serial killers I've seen in Whoa. a long Whoa, time. Did I hate him. Did I hate that serial killer? Whoa. Oh, man. I'm telling you. You know, this movie's also very surrealistic. Uh, they show the part, of, of course, you know she dies because that's what it's all about. She gets murdered. but And she starts right off by telling you she was murdered. Yeah, she's telling a story yeah, from heaven and, you know, and, right. you know, and about the people around her when it affected, how her mm -hmm. death affected them, things like that. And, and Peter Jackson uses a lot of surrealistic moments, meaning that there's a lot of a CGI in the background while she's up in heaven or between heaven. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so, you know, you're going to see a lot of that. And it does slow the movie down uh, quite a bit. And you might say, what did we need that for? Um, and, you know, I sort of questioned that myself. It was just a little bit too much of it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I, 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 I thought it wasn't enough because uh, I kind of enjoyed it, and I wanted to hear from her point of view from up there. That's why I enjoyed mm -hmm. that part. Oh, yeah, I did, too. I wish there was more of her maybe talking over while things were happening. But, you know, I thought just a little bit too much of that. But... The movie itself is a good movie. I think it was well put together. Jackson deserves a kudo for that. I think he did a great job on it. The acting was brilliant. Hey, what about Miss McIver, uh, who played her sister? Now, she played a good part in this. Yes, team. she did. She did. And, you know, I, I think when you get to her part, at first, she's, you know, she's sort of in the background. In fact, you didn't even know who she, it was her sister in the beginning. But then later on, she, she's like in the background throughout oh, the movie. Yeah. Then all of a sudden, she becomes to the forefront. And, you, and, you're, and you're sitting on your edge of the seat. What's going to happen to Lindsay? You know, oh, my goodness. I won't tell you, but I'll tell you, it will put you in deep suspense. And it was really great. And Susan Sarandon. Oh, my goodness. As the grandmother. <laughs> she was a, a new type of grandmother. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. She had oh. really had a, either a facelift or good makeup, though. Huh? I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, man. But uh, she Even played. Mark Wahlberg. I mean, he looked like Marky Mark. I mean, he was really yeah, young looking. Yeah. I don't know what they did. I mean, well, they, this is 1973, so this took place in the, the 70s. Kudos to the makeup person. Not only that, to the set designers, too, you know, yes. with the cars mm -hmm. and the housing and yeah. things like that. They really, I, they I really, really set you that. in the yeah. 60s, didn't they? Yeah, in the 60s and 70s, sure did. Mm -hmm. Well, the lovely bones. How many palm trees are you giving it? I'm giving it four. I'm giving it four palm trees. I think if they had cut back a little bit of the surrealism, I would have liked it more. And, but uh, four for me. 
I'm giving it three and a half palm trees because it's just a little bit slow for me. But but I enjoyed this, and I wanted to see what happened next. I don't know if I'm being fair with three and a half palm trees, but, you know, that's above average, and this is a good movie. I will recommend you go see this movie. See, see it for yourself, wouldn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Go to the movies and see it, and the bigger the screen, the bigger the speakers, the more you'll enjoy it. Oh, definitely. Hey, this is Al McGee with your entertainment ticket by ticket.com. Well, I'm with a movie girl who saw the movie The Lovely Bones. This is Kal Kalia Camacho Ali. She used to be married to the heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. What do you think of the movie The Lovely Bones? It was the anticipation got me. I was like, I was like on the edge of my seat and just anticipating all these things happening. Because you already know what's going to happen. But you don't, it never does happen right there, and you just it's just a lot of anticipation in an old movie. Oh wow! And that's what I really like about being on edge, and the and the and the people in the theater they actually followed the movie they every sure did. moment. I mean, every gasp, every moment, and it was very good. And it also showed uh, a limbo between heaven and hell, like in the middle, and trying to get things settled. Mm. And the girl was just actually great. Susan Sarandon was just wonderful. She's like a grandmother from the 60s, you know. Mm. So she brought a lot of little color to everything. And uh, I thought it was a great movie. I, I, I'd give it three palms. Oh, okay. <laughs> three and a half. Well, she gave it three, three and a half palm yeah. trees. Well, the lovely bones. Well, this is your entertainment ticket, whyyouticket.com, with the beautiful Mrs. Uh, Camacho Ali. Thank you. And go see the movie. Wow. Did you like my change? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I could do that every time. <laughs> Who else would you like to see? <laughs> well, the lovely bones, we both enjoyed it, right? Yes. Well, I liked it. This is your entertainment ticket, yeticket.com. Keep watching us every day. And the day after. And you see John do another change. Oh, ready, ready, ready? <laughs> I'm going to turn it to Denzel Washington. Ready? You ready? Did Mom know before she married you hmm? about your obsession? Susie, hobbies are healthy. They teach you things. Like what? Like if you start something, you finish it. You don't stop until you get it right. If you don't get it right, you start over again, and you keep on going as long as you have to. That's the way it is. That's what you do. It's perfectly normal. You know, Grampy taught me to do this, and now I'm teaching you. We're creating something here for us, something special. I know. And my first mate, Susie Q. One day all of this will be yours. Jack! Susie! Mm -hmm. Dinner! Hey, wait, wait, wait. Ready? Yeah. Now hold her steady. Okay. Okay, shipmate. Take it away. <sighs> <laughs>